Here we go. It's uh, time to rip open this box, George C. Good luck to you, my friend. I hope you pull big. Let's do this. You're going to get this book as well, George. This is really cool. Yeah, that book is like an extended checklist, but it really... Actually, looking at it, man, it's, it's got the whole set, basically, word for word in here. My gosh, this is so cool. That is really neat. It's got all the different things, um, all the different autographs and stuff. They're just a lot. Really cool. Warning, some of these pictures may, may not be suitable for ch uh, children. Some of these war photos are really graphic. These photos are epic. I mean, these are like real photos. So when you see a dead body or something, man, it's like, geez, that's a real person. It's no, it's no actors in there. You know what I mean? Those are real people. It was a real moment. No acting. You get so used to seeing actors that it just kind of dumbs it down and makes it seem. But that is not an actor. You know what I'm saying? That's somebody firing a real gun. <laughs> that's not an actor <laughs> you know this man's risking his life and he's might be killing somebody at the same moment it's serious stuff man a lot of war heroes of uh, american war heroes and not just american but a lot of war heroes uh, made the ultimate sacrifice in 1945 Hope. Let's see what we can find in our box break. Let's hit something big. So far, we've had that one parallel, <clears throat> and I want to make sure I showed the number. I was so wrapped up in the photo. I don't really know if I showed the number. Okay, it's 49 or 199. Oh, there we go. That's Gordy Howe. We're, to, we're, we're looking at this one in the last break. Oh, no, this is Wildcats. Okay, this is celebrating the um college basketball
Now we have a dog tag uh, commemorating this soldier, U.S. Air Force TV writer who won the Hugo Award. Wow, so this person spent the remainder of their military career as a plane crash investigator after being in a crash himself. So what an interesting story about Gene Roddenberry. That is really cool. Uh, just want to make sure you do know it's not an authentic. I don't. It actually, on this, it doesn't say whether it's authentic or not. I don't believe that to be a real dog tag. I think it's just a replica dog tag. After all, he was in like a crash and everything, a plane crash. I mean, if he was in a plane crash, the thing ought to be like a little bit cindered. That's like perfect condition. So I, I do not think it's a, a, a real, but um, very cool that it, it's a it's still commemorating a very historic figure, and it's a really cool piece to get coming out. So this is a low number parallel. Hey, what's up, Yeezy? Uh, I'll check around. I, I don't think we do have any of those three, but I'll check around to see more about those. Yeah, so uh, I know we, we don't have those three, Immaculate Football, NT, or Flawless. Um, but I do want to link up our football section. Maybe you'll find something you'd like to break here today in our football section. Um, we will be getting something of those soon. Um, so uh, I'm sure we'll have something like that. Are you serious, TJ? You're right. Wow, celebrating today in in, in this history of the Nimitz. Uh, when I think of the Nimitz, I automatically think of a carrier and not the person. Because uh, I, I lived next to the shipbuilding, um, which is one of the largest shipbuilders. And, and I've seen the aircraft carrier Nimitz. But this is all about the fleet admiral. And he was confirmed admiral on the 19th of 1944. So the, he was, that's when he became the admiral. That is cool. Go very uh that was good of you to point that out. That's so funny. Okay, here's another parallel. Uh right here. So very cool. Nice parallel. 87 of 199. All kinds of great stories with with these cards. Um, you know, I can sit here and just look at every single one of them. And read about it and enjoy it. It is a it is a fun uh, fun product to rip open, and I'm sure it's going to look great in your collection with things that you have in your PC.
definitely something different, you know. Uh, you, p people will see your collection. They'll say, oh, man, that's different. There's the goat, the belly goat, from the Cubs curse. <laughs> That's the belly goat. And here we have a hit. It is a soldier uniform relic. Uh, and Tony Curtis is being celebrated. Uh, the attack on Pearl Harbor. He enlisted after Pearl Harbor. He served aboard his a submarine tender, the U.S. Proteus, until the end of World War II on September 2nd, 45. Curtis witnessed a Japanese surrender in Tokyo Bay from his ship, Signal Bridge, about a mile away. Following his discharge from the Navy, Curtis attended the College of New York on the GI Bill. So yeah, he actually saw the surrender and culmination of the war, the end of the war, the last day of the war. He was there. Uh, as the war ended and was like one of the first people to know about it ending so that's really cool man that is very nice this uh, war era relic type of hit oops And another very nice parallel celebrating the actor Jimmy Stewart, who served in the military as well as Full Colonel. That's the surrender right there, VJ Day. That's the surrender. So that one person was on uh, on on the ship. A mile away he was he was in the he was in the same waters is what it said but he was on the bridge of his ship so this box has had a lot of parallels congratulations what is this all about here Salvador Dali. Oh, the artist Salvador Dali. This guy has some really wild artwork. Look at this. This is crazy stuff, man. That guy is nuts. But his artwork is so cool. I, I love his artwork. All right, so 99 of 199, so that must be the dream sequence from Hitchcock's movie. The Death of Hitler in 1945. 17 of 45 Hitler dying.
There's a Gordy Howe. I've been waiting for that card. So, yeah, the interesting about Gordy Howe. So, in 1945, he was getting his career started. Long time hockey legend Gordy Howe. So really nice things coming out of here for Joe. I'm sorry, not, uh, Giorgio. Not Joe, but Giorgio. This is Giorgio's boxes we're just going through. And we have these also in instant pack rows where you can get these and open these packs instantly. 1945. Here's another hit coming out of here for Giorgio. And this is like, I think, the third hit so far in this, this box. I could be wrong. It could be the second hit in the box. There's been a lot of parallels. I know that. Yeah, I think this is the second. No, no, this is the third hit. This is the third hit. So Bob Dole. Okay, he ran for office. He ran for president, Bob Dole did, in the 90s against Bill Clinton. Very interesting. Bob Dole. Wow. Uh, that is really cool. An American hero. And that is a really neat relic. All right, this is all about Velvet and Elizabeth Taylor. And so very, very famous movie there. Ebony Magazine. Very interesting. 103 of 199. And this is a very special story. I've, I've uh, read this one about Burt Shepard, how he was a fighter pilot, shot down over Germany, and then went on. Uh, uh, his leg could not be saved, and, and uh, he learned to walk with prosthetics. And then he was back in the States and was a pitching coach for the Senators. And the centers actually used him in a big game. So that, that was a really cool story there for him, Burt Shepard, paving the way for a lot of people to still be able to participate in sports with prosthetics and different things like that. This feels like a hit. Here we go, Giorgio. This 
Feels like a hit in this one. What is this? Oh, you got a coin. And a lovely looking coin it is. Okay, that's a Mercury Dime. I believe that's what that is, a Mercury Dime. That is the Roman figure that is shown, Mercury. Minted in 1945, yeah. So nice, man. You got a 1945 Mercury Dime. Hub. And the final pack here in this 1945 box break is a parallel 56 of 199. Why I hate my uncle. He petitioned the president to allow him to serve in the U.S. Navy. <laughs> Uh, that's great. Born in England, petitioned to serve in the U.S. Navy to fight his uncle. Isn't that something? Even Hitler's family members didn't agree with his policies and wanted to go to war against him. Isn't that cool? So anyway, yeah, uh, great stuff coming out in 1945. Uh, very interesting. Takes you right into some of the wartime stuff and really cool memorabilia comes from all kinds of wartime stuff, stuff you never would have even thought of. Um, very cool. And now we're getting ready for the next big hit in some of our breaks. So we'll be ready for um, our graded coin break is coming up in... Uh, that's going to be really exciting. We have some links for you. You'll be able to find your way into the breaks. Really easy here. Let me pop some links up here for you so you get ready for the next big hit.